Waiguruji ka khasa, Waiguruji ki fateh. Thank you for joining me, Jag Singh, for another dose of Positive Minds on the channel. Positive Minds is a program which I like to bring on informative and inspirational individuals who give us some great advice on how we can better our lives and those people around us. After the show, you can download my book, Unbreakable. Unbreakable is available on Amazon. Unbreakable is my story about me and my family growing up in the 1970s in East London, surrounded by racism. And the story tells you how I got from there to here. So after the show, download my book, Unbreakable, available on Amazon. And you can also catch up on previous Positive Mind uh, episodes on my YouTube channel, Jag Singh, The Inspiration Zone. Okay, so type in Jag Singh, The Inspiration Zone, and you can download my videos. Today's program is about a, about, I always tell you guys, right, that you need to find your passion and build around it. And today I've got a guest with me whose father got him a, a doubler drum set. At a very young age and what this did to the boy was it revolutionized him and you know it made him find his passion in music so today with me guys i have the one and only mr sandy man with me sandy thank you so much for joining me today on positive minds hi hi everyone thank you very much jack for inviting me to your lovely show and uh, to all the Sikh channel viewers mira satriyakal satriyakal okay so the double set that your father got you Okay, at such a young age, I know we're going back some time. What did it do? What happened with his double set? What happened, Sandy? Um, I was only seven, eight years old. I didn't realize before I was that, uh, before I got my tablets, basically, I used to tap on the tables and stuff. But my, my dad said, uh, let's get him a set of tablets. But that's back in them, them days. It was hard to get tablets and harmoniums in them days. But he somehow managed to get second hand uh, tabla for me. And uh, from there, I just started playing little bits and pieces, and uh, we you know went to the functions and all the all the uncle aunties saying shabbas and stuff like that. And then uh, my dad said, "Okay, I'm going to take you to India, and I'm going to uh, make sure you get some training, and uh, and then you come back." And by that, I by the time I got there, it was about eight years before I could have come back to England. So from there, that's it, you know. Excellent. Excellent. And tell me about some of the great work you've done around your passion for music, Sandy Man. Yes, I mean, uh, it's just like a lot, you know, everyone has this passion and stuff like that. But this this tabla, basically, when I was playing uh, and the music and time music, I, I what it was is like I eventually, when I was a kid, I was I was when I came back to London and I was playing stuff, and people, you know, I used to say, uh, why don't you come and perform for me? Why don't you come and perform for me? And then, without realizing, my first gig when I was about sixteen years old was at uh, Royal Albert Hall. And, and when I was playing at Royal Albert Hall at that point, it was like um, a little kid, and you know, uh, with uh, I think 5,000 people from the uh, place, Newham Academy of Music, they took me to Royal Albert Hall. From there, it just became my passion, you know, music just became my passion. I'd done my schooling, I'd done my college, I'd done my uni, but it just music, I kept this music with me till today. And we're looking at these pictures right now. I mean, you've hit some, you hit some great news out there, and I see the great celebrities that you're, you're, you've been with. And the music, I look at the back, I can see some sitars, I can see some uh, double, I can see some great instruments at the back there. Now, I understand you also provide these to groups, individuals, gudwaras, temples. I mean, from from the boy playing the double to having this great empire. I mean, that's amazing, Sandy. I mean, yes, uh, thank you very much. Basically, it's only one reason uh, in life which I, which I always believe is that, um, you know, um, God is great, Oparwala, you know, very great. And basically, O Jab Deta Hai, Be Hisab Deta Hai, and Jab Leta Hai, Chamri Bi Uta Leta Hai. But all I want to say, I, you know, I have great friends, I have uh, you are my good friends, and I have organizers, artists, musicians, they have been so kind to me uh, during uh, the last 20-25 years and this place where I'm sitting right now is called Guru Sounds. I've been, uh, this, uh, we've been supplying musical instruments for the last 17 years uh, to worldwide. Um, as you said, good bars, temples, community groups, colleges, schools and um, yes, God has been kind. And you know, just looking at, at the background over there, I mean, I've always been interested, you know, in, I've always gone to the Gurdwaras and the temples and seen them playing an amazing singing and the great, uh, the actual part and everything. And looking at that behind you, I'm thinking to myself, you know, this same time, uh, Sandy, 
do children, I mean, just like, you know, kids do football practice, rugby practice, you know, I think maybe kids, children just need to get a bit more involved. I mean, get all that as well, but get more involved in music as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, definitely, because what it was, uh, my mum and dad, they really inspired me. They said, no, you have to do that practice. No, you, this is the time you need to do practice. This is the time you play football. This is the time you play this guitar. So it was kind of set for me and it doesn't matter if I didn't want it or not, I had to do it. But did, not realising that for that kind of hard work at that point and today, uh, going to play for Wembley Arena, going to play for uh, Albert Hall, you know, um, going worldwide, uh, would help. So definitely, I think, uh, plus at uh, this when we are Guru Sounds, we see so many mum and dads bring their kids a toll lala, tabla lala, harmonium lala, which I really, you know, I say, I really encourage them, I say, great, it's better than the PSP, make sure you, they have this as well on the side as well, you know, so as a hobby. Oh yeah, of course, PSP is important, yeah, but this is a hobby, this is a talent, and this is a passion, and as, and as I always say on this show, it doesn't matter what, what you start as a passion, you never know where it can lead. And Sandy, I understand you do a lot of community work, a lot of charity work as well, you're involved in? Yes, I mean, put it this way, you know, as I said to you, I have great friends uh, from all different types of communities, and they have always, always supported me, they, and you know, they said, Sandy, look, go forward, do this, uh, there's this charity work coming up, let's do this, let's do that, events, we do lots of uh, World Punjab Association programs, uh, so it's basically, yes, uh, we, you know, we are pushed forward, and uh, as, as I said to you, God is great, I have great friends, and great audience, and great, you know, I just always look for love, uh, for music, people who love music, I always, always try to support them. I mean, Sandy, man, you just reminded me of something. I remember when I first, in 1976, I think it was, we went to Mylen Cinema, uh, uh, and I think it was called Plasium Cinema, and we went there for the first time, and Bollywood actually come to England, man. Bollywood was actually in England. I spent all the, all the years listening to my dad's vinyl records and that, but we never actually got to see things. And, and there was no internet at that time. And going to see the first Indian film, it was like, wow. It was like, I think it was Sean Lee or something, Rumita uh, Bachchan. And hearing the music, the, the, the cultural music, I mean, we used to listen to the English music on the TV, which is great, yeah? But to hear the Indian music and the passion and the peace that comes from it was amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, uh, Bollywood is a, is a big thing. Yeah, and from there I was hooked. You know, I was hooked even up, up, even up to this day, you know, I still listen, keep up and track of all the Bollywood music that comes out. And, and you know, I find it, it's, it's fascinating. Um, Sandy, do you also, uh, obviously, your passion is music and instruments and everything that you got around you. Do you also do lessons as well? Do you teach people? Uh, yes, uh, basically now at this moment, def definitely because it's COVID time, uh, we have no events. All artists, we don't have any events. So at that mo at this moment, before this pre-COVID, I mean, I was flying all all over the places uh, with different um, Bollywood legends and stuff and performing. But now at this time, uh, be honest, for the last year and a half, it was like do bhakti roti, uh, of exercise, yoga, teaching, practice, and then go to sleep. That's what's been happening for the last year and a half. Yes, yeah, so definitely, yes, I do teach. Superb, superb. Um, and another thing, you talk, so you spoke about earlier, but I'm not going to brush it over because I want to talk about this to you, yeah? Royal Albert Hall at the age of 16. I mean, well done, first of all. Congratulations for that. Um, that's amazing. H how did you feel Thanks. and how did you, how did you feel when you performed? Um, because I, I was 16 years old, it was for me, it's, it's, it's a brand new experience. I mean, uh, it was like, you know, I was playing on the stage and the entire audience was dark towel, black towel, couldn't see anything. But as soon as I finished, all I could hear is people just applauding 5,000 people together. But um, that was happening when I was 16. But just two, three years back, I, I was performing for the Bootleg Beatles and I was again invited uh, back to Royal Albert Hall to perform for the Bootleg Beatles for the Sgt. Pepper 50 years of celebration. So. It was a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal experience playing in Royal Albert Hall because um, it's one of the prestigious uh, uh, venues and it's like basically a feather in your cap. So for me, it was again a blessing for me to get there and perform with this fantastic bootleg Beatles group. And again, I traveled with them everywhere around the UK. Uh, but I have to say, performing Royal Albert Hall is, I mean, it's, you didn't, it's basically, it's just, one of the blessings you can ever have in your life in the music industry. 
Excellent. And to the viewers out there who are watching right now, and you know, if, if you're young and you're thinking to yourself, you know, I want to learn how to play a piano, or you're learning a violin at school, whatever instrument you're learning, what musical instrument you're learning, um, don't you ever stop and say to yourself, you can't be at a Royal Albert Hall uh, by the age of 16, because Sandy Man done it. Okay, so let him be a role model to everybody out there, all the children out there, right? That dreams do come true, but it's got to be done by doing hard work is that right sandy because i i remember i, I read on your website i mean you spent hours and hours playing the blood in you as a youngster yes i mean uh, definitely i remember them those uh, i mean thanks for reminding me them those them days was like uh, i used to just lock myself uh, in my bedroom and keep on practicing and i remember my mother uh, she's not alive at the moment but she used to bring me the breakfast uh, and sometime lunch and when she used to give the lunch to the door it was like uh, breakfast was still there. I didn't open the door. I was so lost in my practice. I'm talking about four, five, six hours. And um, then was the hard days, um, uh, you know, you know, I, I guess everything you need to put hard work in. Uh, but um, yes, uh, definitely if, if your family is there, if they're supporting you, uh, for your hobby, uh, especially music, they're supporting you. You want to one of the lucky guys. Make sure you make the most of it. If your parents is investing time, is investing the money on instruments and stuff, make sure you know. Just for your sake as well. Look in today's time, uh, you know, we are all trying to be positive. And music, whoever I remember, Guru Sound has been so busy during the pandemic. The reason why people were at their houses, they wanted music therapy. They were buying instruments. They were playing instruments. They were with the families. You know. You know, trying to uh, keep within music and that's when you know you it is your people like your you and your program it really makes a difference because positive positiveness is that's this is what we need right now in today's world so thank you again jack for for and seek channel as well for giving this program to us you're welcome you're welcome sandy and it's been it's an, and it's an honor to have you on here today i mean also i mean you've mixed the amongst many great people out there. Now tell me about the time, right, when you was invited to Sir Paul McCartney's residence. Tell me about that, please. How did that feel? <laughs> that's another one you invited. Oh, wow. That's another milestone in my life. Uh, Paul McCartney, uh, Sir Paul McCartney, he is such a down-to-earth guy, humble guy. Uh, we were invited. To his um, to his uh, place in St John's Wood, me and my friend Jonathan uh, and uh, one of my cousins, Ranjana, we went there, and uh, basically we were playing, performing in uh, this meditation dome, and in front of us, Lulu was sitting there. There were more more uh, celebrities sitting there, but we were performing, and we just saw Paul McCartney just came, he sat on the floor, and he just kept listening to us. And by the time we finished, he just came to us and said, "We respect artists." Uh, thanks for coming and you know and joining us and uh, that was just like wow this is what you call humbleness uh, from great stars and uh, it wasn't like that we again got invited again by Heather McCartney at that point to go and perform uh, for them as well so it was a great experience Jack brilliant experience and and you know going back to what I said earlier that you know as, as a young boy you said you, you don't you stayed in your room and you're dedicated with the instruments you know you spent so much time to learn it and obviously that was going to see sir paul mccartney and his wife and you know performing in front of them the royal albert hall you know all this is contribute towards your hard work sandy you know and that's what this program is about positive minds like sandy just said you know everyone out there just just find that passion just like sandy has today you know sandy's speaking about today he's found his passion and he keeps moving forward and you know it's amazing and i, and I love your story sandy i love your story um, you have worked with many, many amazing, amazing uh, Bollywood actors, uh, Hollywood. How does it feel? How does it feel like being involved in such a such talented people? Um, I had got to learn a lot from these guys because, look, I, I'm born in London and I have no connections in Bollywood. So when people ask me, Sandy, you, you are in London. And how do you get to work with all these Bollywood singers, artists and stuff like that? And I just say, it's only one reason, uh, Malik, God is great. And um, I, I just basically uh, do my hard work. And what I've learned actually from, from whoever, whoever, whichever artist, I mean, the entire Bollywood I've worked with, whoever I have worked, they have always taught me one thing that, be humble, uh, be respectful to elders, and be truthful to your art. Uh, and uh, then you will just keep on going forward. And um, I've been lucky uh, to, to sit amongst so many pundits, 
so many stars and so many Bollywood stars and perform with them at the same stage, uh, being from London. So uh, it's only, you know, as I told you, God is great, great friends, organizers has really pushed me forward. And my thank you to all of them. Uh, thanks again for your program. Excellent. Sandy, building an empire isn't easy, right? It's hard to build an empire and look at it, your, your, your amazing equipment you got there, the contacts you got. I've seen the stuff on your website that you do, the great entertainment stuff. And building an empire is hard. It's a lot, lot, lot of hard work involved. Tell me about some of the tough times you've had. Tough times? I had, um, I had Jagger. My father passed away when I was 17 and my mother passed away when I was 21. And um, I have a sister. So at that point, it was like um, I, had, I had no work. I, I don't know exactly how to survive uh, because before pre that, my mother and father looked after everything off me. Everything was done. But all of a sudden, it was like, okay, it's me. If I don't do it, nothing happens. If I do it, then it happens. So at that point, I had to really graft and graft, graft a lot to survive. And uh, it took me years to, uh, it, I mean, it's no empire, I wouldn't say really an empire, Jack's nice of you to say that, but it just, it took me years to, to you know, to get to where I am today. And um, uh, it, it is difficult times, and especially now, uh, COVID times, uh, which I never ever, I'm sure no one faced this in the entire generation, that uh, we will be all locked indoors and, you know, all this fear and stuff like that. So, and especially for the artists out there, or lots of my friends uh, back in India, uh, and the Asian uh, subcontinent, they have no work. Uh, artists, I don't know, who solely relied on, uh, they had uh, music, so they've got no work. So at the moment, it's a bit of a tough time. But then again, we need to be positive as much as we can, you know, and just go through this tough time and uh, go forward and be positive. Excellent, excellent answer. Um, Sandy, if someone listening out there right now is thinking to themselves, you know, I, I want to I be a Musician, musician, musician like you, you know, you like to go into music like you do, you know, learn the instruments, you know, learn, learn the stuff, or to build a, you know, an empire like you have, like I said before. What would your advice be to them, please? Uh, my advice would be definitely look, um, if a guy from East London uh, who, who, who's a musician, artist, uh, can be invited to the Buckingham Palace uh, at the Queen's Garden Tea Party uh, to go and, you know, attend there. Uh, you guys can as well. Anyone can. Just put your hard work in. And as as the my respected elders and the respected artists and the, all the legends have taught me, just be truthful to yourself. And that you know, I want to I want to do this. I want that can be like you're running a piano, you're playing vajra, you're singing, or whatever. That okay, I'm gonna do this honestly. I'm gonna dedicate myself alongside whatever you're doing. You know, you can be a doctor, accountant, or whichever profession. If you are doing music, just you know, whenever even you practice for even ten minutes, I'm gonna do this properly, not just like you know, quickly get it out to make my mum and dad happy, and I'm out. So be honest to yourself. You never know. Some point, somewhere, that's gonna help you in your life. Excellent. Um, Sandy, if people want to uh, go on your website, tell us a bit more about your website and tell us about Guru Sounds. Where is Guru Sounds? How can people get in contact with you? Sure. Guru Sounds is an online company and um, uh, basically we're based in Hainal Business Park, but we are sending all over the world. Uh, so that's all the instruments. You can go to www.gurusounds.com and um, you can see all the information there. And at the moment, uh, as an artist's point of view, Jack, I'm trying to collaborate with the undiscovered artists uh, in UK, Europe, wherever, where, you know, I want to work with them, young, talented uh, guys, where, you know, I want, I want to share my, my experience, my knowledge, and uh, make music together, and bring them to different platforms, uh, if I can, uh, with the friends, uh, all the helps and stuff like that, and again, go forward in this industry. Excellent. And um, going back, we just said there that getting new artists and everything. I was speaking to a, a friend of mine a few days ago, and he said he wants to be a singer. And he's tried so many platforms, he's tried so many uh, record companies, and he's not getting nowhere. And recently, he got actually uh, accepted by a record label. And he said to me, it, it took him 550 shots at getting it right. But each time he got the rejection, um, uh, he, he went away and he came back and said he's going to try again. Go back and he, again, he got rejected, he came back and he kept coming and coming and coming. And, you know, I think the secret there is that if you've got talent, 
um, you make when you take it to the table, uh, somebody may say to you, unfortunately, it's not good enough for you. Uh, you're not good enough for us. You know, we don't want you, but don't let that dishearten you guys out there, right? Like, like Sandy just saying there, right? He's, he's looking for some new young artists as well. Don't let that dishearten you. And yeah, and get contact with Sandy. You know, yeah, reach out there to Sandy and, and, he, and we'll take it from there. Sandy, what are your plans for the future? What are your plans? COVID's obviously going to it's going to get better, and hopefully, you know, things will change slowly. What are your plans for the future? Uh, definitely, my plans for the future is that um, obviously, with this uh, hopefully, I'm not sure if the COVID will ever go, but things are getting slightly normalised. You know, uh, we are people's person. Artists need to be on stage. We need to be on stage to perform, and that's our uh, food for the soul. So we need to be on stage, need to perform, we need all the people's love back again. Oh, and you know, stuff like example, um, uh, okay, that's fine, great, online is great, you know, to, to survive, that's great. But you know, I'm sure once you've got a mic on your hand and you're on stage and hosting the show, it's a different buzz. So hopefully things will be getting back to again how it was. Or if it, um, go forward and I need to, uh, what I want to do, you know, I want to start an academy where I teaching uh, and my different artists will be teaching uh, singers, musicians, how to perform on stage, how to, uh, you know, um, there's lots of microphone techniques, how to sing and stuff. Uh, musicians, artists, you know, learn, learn the instrument. It's some people is just like, uh, okay, I can sing a little bit. Let's do it. Let's do a Facebook live or let's do something. It's quite difficult. You know, if you don't learn, you need to learn a little bit. You need to practice a little bit before you can start so we're going to be teaching all that kind of stuff uh, through our academy hopefully soon and uh, yeah and uh, we need performances back and we need the young talent to come forward and show the talent for whatever they have to show them show the talent and, and go forward Excellent. And as a performer and an artist, I can tell by the way you just spoke this, and you know you are missing that buzz of going on the stage and you know doing doing your, your amazing work that you do. You know you're really buzzing for it. And listen, Sandy, I've run out of time, buddy, and I can go on talking to you forever. And and you know we have that chat occasion. You always inspire me. And guys, I hope Sandy Man here has inspired you guys as well to follow your dreams. Sandy, thank you so much for coming on Positive Minds today. Thanks, thanks, Jack, for sharing me with all your viewers, with the Seek Channel viewers, and I hope I can see everyone on some stage, some event, somewhere. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. And may you go from strength to strength, Sandy. Now, listen, guys, there you go. A young child gets a drum set, a doubler, and over the years, he creates his own world. He follows his passion, the passion of music, and he creates this amazing world that he's mixing with great celebrities out there. And as I say, always say on Positive Minds, if he can do it, you can do it okay guys so just remember remember your dreams and keep moving forward okay why would you go car sir why would you keep up there 